pleased to have you return to my channel, Coin Lady. Bitcoin Cash (XRP) is not a cryptocurrency. Digital money printed by the government's central bank. The cryptocurrency you're investing in, XRP, also highlights these distinctions. Although XRP is not a digital currency issued by a central bank, it can serve as a bridge currency for the transfer of CBDC between countries. It still amazes me that some people believe that to be the case with XRP. A CBDC is another way to look at Ripple's new stablecoin. The National Anti-Fraud Office in France detained Pavel Durov, founder and CEO of Ripple Telegram, and confiscated a stablecoin from the company. His lengthy list of accusations includes pedophilia, illegal content, money laundering, terrorism, narcotics, collaboration, fraud, and receiving stolen goods. Out of all the crypto-related regulations, the one that stands out to me is the one dealing with money laundering and anti-terrorism. The government is currently targeting anything related to crypto and anti-money laundering, so it's no surprise that we'll see more of this in the future. With the market being unstable, tokenized real-world assets could be worth more than gold. And tokenization is still in its infancy, but it will gain momentum soon. Tokenized real-world assets are attractive because they offer a way for risk-averse people seeking more stable investments to enter the cryptocurrency market, which the World Economic Forum predicts could be worth $867 trillion by 2030. Of course, many have speculated about its potential uses in the art and real estate markets, but investing in precious metals is a no-brainer. Even though financial institutions like HSBC have their own gold token, which most retail investors probably can't get their hands on, normal investors who are interested in learning more about tokenized gold should be able to do it at their own pace. Just like XRP and other cryptocurrencies were never intended for regular investors, they are already claiming that tokenized gold isn't for them. But here's the rub, we're going to conquer the institutions and then enjoy the fruits of our labor. A perfect illustration of the worth of gold. This is a product of the capitalist vandal, Black Swan. Back in 1929, 10 kilograms of gold could purchase a typical house. 10 kilograms of gold would be enough to purchase two average-sized houses in the year 2024. The value of your home in US dollars is going up. Do you not understand that the value of your home is expressed in gold? What's happening is that people mistakenly believe their homes are increasing in value when in fact, that is not the case. The US dollar is experiencing a steady decline in value. But even when you cash out of crypto, the value of gold tends to stay the same. It has always been my policy that I will not withdraw funds in US dollars if I am planning to cash out. For my money, I'd rather buy gold or silver. No. It is now being requested by the USDA that individuals add their vegetable gardens to a nationwide registry. You should keep in mind that the same thing is occurring in the European Union, their goal is to tokenize your assets. Somewhere along the line, private enterprises will be tokenized. Everything of value around you will be tokenized. It's for this reason that they insist you sign everything. Possess something of value, as they will be able to utilize your tokenized assets to their advantage. Also, things is going according to plan. The World Economic Forum predicts $867 trillion by 2030, and that's because they plan to tokenize everything from trees and mountains to water. Stay off this register list for as long as you can, because everything will become a token eventually. It's already been said that the United States will fall behind if crypto laws aren't put in place. Crypto is still going strong. Crypto use is accelerating in every other region of the globe. They're always making progress as the United States falls more and further behind. But there are trillions of money sitting on the sidelines, he said, so pay attention. When it happens, it will happen quickly. Then there's the question of how everyone feels about the union of Kennedy and Trump. It gives the impression that we are seeing the unfolding of a film in real time. Furthermore, I think the vast majority of you will concur. Frankly, I have a lot of respect for Kennedy, and I predict that this will eventually lead to the disclosure of many secrets. Please, Department of Justice and eight states, let me know what happens next.
Using Sue's actual page, national huge landlords can more easily fix prices. This rent fixing has to stop, and maybe now authorities will begin to do something about it. I usually tell people that we need to bring down inflation whenever they say something has to be done. Tragedies are occurring. Because the United States can't seem to resolve any problems, something must give. They won't tell you how to fix the problem until something goes wrong, which is when a crisis occurs. The truth is, though, that rent needs to go down. I mean, it's expensive, and some people are becoming filthy rich off it, I just believe people are starting to realize it now. We will have to watch what happens next. Healthcare enters a new age with Groke. Thanks to its lightning-fast and accurate analysis of medical data, AI Groke is causing a stir in the healthcare industry. Healthcare is supposedly becoming more efficient and successful thanks to Groke's ability to swiftly digest massive amounts of research data, which is helping doctors with disease diagnosis and treatment recommendations. Groke could hasten medical discoveries and enhance patient results. Artificial Intelligence is on the rise, you know. Far beyond where we are, in my opinion. What is artificial intelligence? I believe the things we've seen in movies already exist, but this will eventually eliminate the need to visit the doctor. An AI will notice you. First, they will diagnose your conditions, and then they will prescribe medication. We're moving into that future. But artificial intelligence will eliminate many employment, which is why I constantly tell crypto investors to cash out while they can. This might be your final chance to make some serious cash in the cryptocurrency market before rules wipe out the industry as a whole. If you want to make it big this time, you might as well make it count. There will never be another opportunity like this in your entire life. You have a better chance of being wronged by history if you don't seize it. It's unfair that everyone must pay taxes to this crooked administration. Put it in your mind. They just create more money by ignoring it. To acquire this money, which they are creating out of thin air, you must toil away at your job. That is why I do not support taxation, in my view, it is nothing more than a kind of theft. In the end, it's supposed to be about paying taxes. The roads should be repaired, aren't they? If they were so inclined, they could just create more money to repair the roads. I mean, think about all the folks whose investments are going to take a hit because of unrealized capital gains. Are people really going to liquidate their cryptocurrency holdings in order to pay their taxes? Furthermore, that is completely wrong. In addition, 44% would be subject to lower taxes, I mean, really. I mean, we're XRP investors, and you could see this coming. We're going to be filthy rich soon. The foundations for a new monetary system are already being laid. I keep hearing the phrase that's decades away thrown about. We are much closer than people realize, but that won't happen until 2035. Starting with the enormous network that is simultaneously developing around crypto, you could see it all fitting together. Foreign nations desiring not to deal in US dollars, BRICS arriving for US dollars, and other nations want US dollars. Simultaneously, they persist in predicting that inflation will eventually reach hyperinflation after which it will either fall or rise. I believe a new monetary system will emerge before then, and XRP holders will become wealthy before it all happens. Until then, though, be patient, have an optimistic outlook, and let's become rich together. I appreciate you taking the time to view my online video. Support my channel with a like and a subscription. Until then, farewell.